His students are on alert after a weekend robbery and assault at of a student rather. And this news comes just as police study cites a substantial rise in residence hall crime. Not on your sites. Aaron Brackett visited campus in tonight's Crime Watch. Early Sunday morning, a U of A student was walking down this alley when he says he was robbed by two men. News of this latest campus crime is being met with a report citing a 49% increase in incidents within residential dorms. Officer Juan Alvarez attributes the increase in crime to better reporting from resident assistants and a growing student body. We're not really actually concerned with the increase of crime, but it's the actual type of crimes that we're, we're seeing. Um, we, ha we do have an increase in population every year, new students come on board. Um, we also encourage every crime to be reported. Police say they have a good description of Sunday's robbers, but they need the community's watchful eyes. Students we talked to said they try to avoid walking alone at night. What do you and your friends think about this when it happens? Um, personally, that's so scary because I have to go under the underpass just to get to my parking garage. And like, I kind of work late sometimes, and I'm here with friends late sometimes. And like, even though somebody always walks with me, like, we're girls that. It's really scary, actually. Gabe DuPont says he generally feels safe, but usually walks with friends late at night. It's never been nerve-wracking or sketchy that I can think of, at least. Is it pretty dark around here at night? Um, this alleyway, maybe. There's only like that light post, but yeah. it's not too bad. Officer Alvarez recommends getting a ride home or walking with friends at night, and if threatened, do something. For whatever reason you feel unsafe, threatened, Go to a blue light phone, call 911 right away, um, remove yourself from that situation as soon as you can. Cooper says there's a lack of the blue light phones, especially near Sunday's robbery. But there's like not one any around here, and then there's one at the end of the underpass, and the next one isn't until like the parking garage. So you have to like sprint to the garage just to like press the other button. Aaron Brackett, KGO 9 on your side. Now, as you heard, Ree Cooper, the young lady we interviewed, knew pretty well where those blue lights were on campus. Police say awareness is one of the best ways to avoid becoming a victim. We 